A major question hangs over Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 robot. Can Tesla drive the price down far enough to make it a true mass market product? According to Elon Musk, not only is this possible, it's a core part of Tesla's strategy to commercialize Optimus. By rethinking the robot's design, selecting more efficient materials, and leveraging Tesla's unmatched production scale, Optimus Gen 3 could dramatically lower the cost of humanoid robots, potentially reaching a price point that competitors can only dream of. So, just how low can the cost of Optimus Gen 3 go with this all-new design? Before we dive into the details, we'd love your support. Help us reach 11,000 subscribers. Your support motivates us to keep bringing you in-depth updates on Tesla Optimus and the latest news. Elon Musk has emphasized that in order for Optimus to see widespread adoption, it must cost less than human labor in developed countries. During the 2024 shareholder meeting, Musk predicted that with enough optimization, the production cost of Optimus could fall below $20,000. That's a staggering figure when you consider that robots like Boston Dynamics Spot cost around $74,500, and Figure AI's Figure 01 is estimated between $100,000 and $150,000 for early prototypes. Achieving this kind of affordability will require a complete overhaul in how humanoid robots are built, cutting inefficiencies without sacrificing safety or functionality. Optimus Gen 3 represents a huge leap in that direction. Leaks and footage from Tesla's 2025 Investor Day reveal that Gen 3 is about 22 pounds lighter than the Gen 2 model and features 30% fewer mechanical components. This streamlined design not only simplifies the assembly process, but it also reduces maintenance costs and cuts down on quality control and inventory expenses, key factors in mass production. Experts in robotics manufacturing say that simplifying a robot's mechanical structure can reduce assembly time by up to 25%, which leads to major savings. Tesla is also improving cost efficiency by changing the materials used in Optimus. Reports suggest they've moved away from traditional aluminum and steel, instead opting for advanced cast alloys and reinforced polymers for some of the outer parts. These materials are lighter, cheaper, and well-suited for scalable production techniques like molding and 3D printing. According to a 2025 study by McKinsey, reducing a robot's outer shell from dozens of parts down to just four or five large pieces could lower material and machining costs by 40 to 50%. For Optimus, that could mean a cost reduction of over $2,000 per unit just for the exoskeleton. Another key pillar of Tesla's cost-cutting strategy is reusing hardware and software already developed for their vehicles. The AI brain-powering Optimus is the same full self-driving chip used in Tesla cars, over 1.2 million of which were produced in 2024 alone. By reusing this chip, Tesla avoids spending an estimated 50 to 100 million dollars on developing a custom processor. Tesla also sources many of Optimus's components, such as cameras, sensors, and motors, from its existing automotive supply chain. Thanks to Tesla's massive scale, they can acquire high-resolution cameras for just $50 per unit, compared to $200 or more for competitors. This significantly lowers the cost of materials for each robot. Tesla's internal projections suggest that at a production scale of 500,000 units per year, the cost to manufacture each Optimus Gen 3 robot could fall between $14,000 and $16,000. That's already in the same range as the base version of the Tesla Model 3, which retailed for $39,990 in 2025. And if Tesla offers financing options or bundles Optimus with subscription-based AI services, the effective retail price could drop below the $20,000 mark that Elon Musk has set as the target. This would make Optimus accessible to a much wider group of consumers. Ultimately, Tesla's pricing strategy goes far beyond just cutting hardware costs. They're building a completely new business model that could make humanoid robots truly affordable and possibly revolutionize the way we think about personal robotics. Unlike traditional robotics companies that depend on high margin hardware sales, Tesla might follow a different path, much like it did with the Model 3 and its solar roof business. Instead of profiting heavily on the initial sale of the Optimus robot, Tesla could price it near cost 
and focus on long-term revenue through software updates, AI-powered subscription services, or service-based contracts. For example, Tesla could offer Optimus as a service, where customers rent the robot for $50 to $100 per month. This would be ideal for tasks like elder care, home maintenance, or even meal preparation. This model fits with growing trends in the service robotics industry, which is expected to reach $103.3 billion by 2030. This approach aligns perfectly with Tesla's intended market. Households, particularly those with elderly family members, people needing special care, or busy professionals seeking AI-powered help. While industrial robots can justify high price tags of $50,000 or more, robots for everyday consumers need to be priced more like smartphones or laptops. According to a 2025 survey by Deloitte, 62% of US consumers said they would consider buying a home assistant robot if it cost less than $20,000, especially if flexible financing options were available. Tesla's ability to offer monthly payment plans could make Optimus feel as accessible as a $500 smartphone spread over two years. Tesla's vertical integration gives it a unique edge over competitors. Where companies like Boston Dynamics are strong in robotics but lack large-scale manufacturing and figure AI relies on third-party suppliers, Tesla controls the entire process, from chips and software to production lines. This full-stack approach helps Tesla cut costs at every step. Take Agility Robotics Digit Robot, for example. It's priced around $40,000 to $50,000, mainly due to the high cost of manufacturing in the US. By contrast, Tesla's Gigafactories, which produced over 410,000 vehicles in quarter two of 2025, already have the infrastructure to support Optimus production at an unmatched scale. In fact, the Fremont factory is being retooled to launch pilot production of Optimus, with several thousand units expected to be in operation by the end of 2025. This kind of scalability is key. Economies of scale can significantly drive down unit costs. Historical data from Tesla's Model Y production shows that each time output doubles, the per unit cost drops by 15% to 20%. If Tesla reaches Elon Musk's target of producing 1 million Optimus units per year by 2030, the cost per robot could fall to just $10,000 to $12,000, potentially shaking up the entire robotics industry. Another common question people have is about Optimus's operational and charging performance. Critical factors for anyone considering the robot for home or workplace use. Since Tesla hasn't revealed full technical specs, it's hard to confirm exact battery and performance details, but here's what we know so far. Tesla says Optimus can run for up to 20 hours a day on a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. That claim has raised some eyebrows, considering how energy hungry humanoid robots can be. For comparison, Boston Dynamics Atlas operates for about four to six hours on a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery under heavy load. Human workers usually work eight-hour shifts with breaks, so it's reasonable to expect a robot might not need as much downtime, provided recharging is quick. Assuming Optimus uses energy similarly to other robots, like Agility Robotics Digit, which consumes around 2.5 kilowatt hours for five to seven hours of operation, it's possible that Optimus could run about six hours on a single charge. To reach the 20-hour claim, it would likely require three short recharge sessions throughout the day, this is where Tesla's battery tech comes into play. Optimus is expected to use high-efficiency lithium-ion cells similar to those in Tesla's vehicles. These cells support fast charging, up to 50 kilowatts, meaning a robot like Optimus could recharge to 80% in just 20 to 30 minutes. A 2025 McKinsey study supports this, stating that modern humanoid robots equipped with advanced battery management systems can achieve rapid recharge cycles with minimal downtime. So while Tesla's 20-hour operation claim may seem ambitious, it could be feasible with smart energy use, efficient design, and fast charging. All areas where Tesla already has strong expertise. For most households, brief charging breaks throughout the day are unlikely to cause any inconvenience. Unlike industrial robots that are built for non-stop factory work, Optimus is designed with flexibility in mind, perfect for short, task-specific sessions throughout the day. What really sets Optimus apart 
is its ability to learn tasks by watching instructional videos, making it feel more like a helpful companion than a machine, and without the need for complex user training. Optimus is equipped with eight 2D cameras on its head and powered by Tesla's full self-driving chip. It uses deep learning algorithms to interpret visual information and replicate tasks, similar to how Tesla vehicles learn to navigate roads. According to a 2025 Gartner report, this kind of vision-based learning can reduce robot training time by up to 60% compared to traditional programming methods. Imagine Optimus watching a cooking tutorial and then preparing a full meal, chopping vegetables, cooking, and even cleaning up. This isn't just theory. At Tesla's 2025 Wii Robot event, Optimus demonstrated this exact capability by recreating a recipe after watching a single video. It's a glimpse into how robots like Optimus could revolutionize daily life. The same idea applies to cleaning. Users could play a tutorial video and Optimus could mop the floor or tidy up while they relax. A 2025 survey by Deloitte found that 68% of US consumers value robots that simplify chores, and 55% said they'd pay extra for robots that can learn tasks on their own. The success of this functionality depends heavily on Optimus's hands. Tesla engineers estimate that hand dexterity accounts for about 80% of the robot's task accuracy. The newest version of Optimus features hands modeled after human ones with five fingers of varying lengths and 22 degrees of freedom, double that of the previous model and more advanced than competitors like Figure AI's robot, which has 15 degrees. This leap in dexterity allows Optimus to handle delicate tasks like holding an egg, placing battery cells, watering plants, or even threading a needle. In Tesla's 2025 demo videos, Elon Musk showcased Optimus performing complex tasks such as playing the piano, tasks that would typically take a human years to master. A 2025 study by E confirms that hands with more than 20 degrees of freedom can achieve about 95% of the dexterity found in human hands, supporting Musk's claims. However, this complexity does come at a cost. Each of Optimus's hands is estimated to cost between $5,000 and $7,000 making up around 30% of the total production cost. While the robot's video-based learning is an exciting breakthrough, it does raise questions about content safety. If Optimus can learn from any video, safeguards are essential to prevent it from absorbing harmful or inappropriate instructions. So far, Tesla hasn't publicly explained how it plans to moderate the content Optimus can access. A 2025 UNESCO report stressed the importance of including strong safety protocols in AI systems to prevent misuse. Additionally, the European Union's AI Act, which took effect in February 2025, requires transparency in AI training data, something that could affect Tesla's timeline for broader deployment. On the bright side, learning through video allows Tesla to rapidly improve Optimus's capabilities. With the integration of Grok, Tesla's conversational voice AI, Optimus can also understand and respond to spoken instructions. This makes it easier to use for people who aren't tech savvy, and it adds to its versatility in settings like elder care, child education, and beyond. So what can Tesla Optimus Gen 3 actually do in your home? Thanks to recent upgrades, Optimus has made huge strides in interacting with its environment. Its hands are no longer limited to simply picking things up, they can now perform highly sensitive tasks, like giving a massage. And when we say gentle, we mean it. With advanced tactile sensors built into its fingers, Optimus can precisely control grip strength and pressure, delivering therapeutic massages tailored to the user's needs. Tesla has made consistent innovation a hallmark of the Optimus project, and the 2025 model showcases major improvements in speed, agility, and overall versatility compared to earlier versions. The Gen 2 version of Optimus was a major step forward, 22 pounds lighter than Gen 1, and already 60% faster. Now, with further improvements, Optimus can navigate tight spaces with ease, whether it's weaving through factory floors, crowded streets, or busy restaurants. It can even climb and descend stairs with impressive balance and control, almost like a trained gymnast. When you look closer, the real genius of Tesla's design becomes clear. The robot's legs aren't just mechanical supports. 
They're carefully engineered to replicate the shape and flexibility of human feet. This allows Optimus to walk naturally and move confidently over uneven surfaces without tripping or losing balance. Its upgraded neck, now featuring two degrees of freedom, allows for more fluid head movements, making interactions feel more natural and human-like. This added expressiveness turns Optimus from just a machine into something that feels much more like a relatable, interactive companion. What are your thoughts on these upgrades? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Next Gen Theories and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We're committed to bringing you the latest and most exciting news. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy the journey.